morning folks it's the San Jacinto trail report from uh, Fuller Ridge the southern end the beginning of the PCT section of Fuller Ridge trail generally considered to be about mile 185.5 you can see the post hole track behind me um, pretty mild morning um, certainly well above freezing uh, the section of the PCT I've just done is a pretty ugly post hole track um, firm in spots where it's been well compacted, pretty soft in others. Temperatures probably around 40 Fahrenheit, a few degrees above freezing. And we will head north and see what the track looks like. Okay, about half a mile in at the crossing of the North Fork of the San Jacinto River. Unfortunately, the track here does not follow the PCT very accurately. It drops down and crosses the river coming down there. So it's pretty icy. Annabelle showing us how it should be done. And as you can see, the track's pretty post holy pretty uneven the rivers in there somewhere can hear it but there's no access to water um to this point the track's been a lot firmer than i would have expected still only about 7 30 in the morning and a little bit of cloud is means there's no direct sun yet which is certainly helping Coming through to about 190.3. One of the biggest problems I detected so far, apart from the icy snow travel, is there are multiple tracks. There's one coming in from that direction, and I don't know how visible that is, but there's another one down through there. Basic rule of thumb is to stick to the most heavily traveled track. Um, again, Looks like one goes off through there. I'm gonna go on the more heavily traveled track. Of course, I should point out that I have the advantage of having done this route dozens of times, including many tens of times in snow and ice. So I know where it should be going, but it does seem like the most heavily traveled track is generally the best option. So coming through the saddle, that uh, PCT post is at about 187.5 and this saddle takes us from being predominantly on the sort of south facing side of Fuller Ridge over onto the north facing side. And this is the point at which sometimes the track can get a little more interesting. Here at about 188. And this is very much a south facing section for about uh, off and on for through a set of switchbacks for a little under a mile um, on the south side of Castle Rocks and as you can see it's starting to clear fairly steadily it tends to accumulate in these drifts in certain spots and it's a case of just going up and over the various drifts on, and in between there are sections of relatively clear trail but at this point the track is following the trail immediately north of 188.5 the trail ordinarily drops down through half a dozen switchbacks before flattening out and traversing and it's fairly typical in PCT season, in snow conditions, 
for folks to just put in a track that essentially drops straight down and as you can see some of those spots people have fallen in and get pretty smoothed out I tend to move to the side of those I'd rather go down through the soft snow to the side but uh, it's fairly straightforward with time and caution now it's out to the section where it flattened out and close to the root of the actual PCT. So between about 188.7 or 8 and all the way through to 191 five or so essentially the trail looks almost entirely like this is mile and a half close to two miles like this where it's essentially traversing across the slope steeper in some places than in others not particularly post holy moderately compact but unfortunately because the temperatures are up the surface snow is getting quite watery and it's pretty slippery i've seen plenty of spots where people have slipped laterally sometimes come off the trail on the plus side because the surface snow is pretty soft you're not going to go very far. I think the longest fall I've seen is a few feet. So unlikely to hurt yourself, but does require quite a bit of concentration and it's basically just slow, relatively slow. Um, So I'm at uh, where the PCT crosses Black Mountain Road at about um, PCT mile 191. PCT heads off down there. As you can see, the snow is pretty patchy from here on. Um, probably peters out more or less completely by about 192, 192 and a half. So Fuller Ridge is fairly straightforward by Fuller Ridge standards for this time of year. Um, that said, it's, there's absolutely no shame in taking the Black Mountain alternate. Um, it's important to be pragmatic when you're thinking about your safety. So, uh, that's definitely a good option if you're not really comfortable on, um, a fairly extended section of, you know, angled icy snow. Um, it's pretty sloppy at the moment. It's certainly not how I would like it. I'd like it a lot colder and a lot harder. That would be more reliable. Um, but otherwise, for most folks with spikes, poles, patience, caution, that's a pretty, uh, pretty good option. And that's it for Fuller Ridge for mid-April 2024. Safe hiking, everyone.